Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum. Today's video is about a quick dinner recipe that I did last night and packed for lunch um, this morning. Um, just a simple and very yummy uh, beef wrap. Um, you just need a bit of onion for it. Uh, once again, I'm just using olive oil for it because it's my favorite. Um, you just um, stir fry the onion very quickly. A lot of the times when you're just uh, coming back from work and um, trying to think of something for dinner you don't want to spend a lot of time in cutting and preparing uh, and tell you the truth I just usually want to make something that I can uh, just like you know take for lunch in the morning as well um, so this recipe is um, actually quite easy to make um, it's a perfect recipe for dinner and fills you up for lunch in the morning as well um, so stir fry the onion in olive oil and then uh, just the beef stir fry um, now I just uh, purchased um, stir fry beef um, if you want to make it even quicker you can put some um, baking soda just a little bit of it like um, quarter not even quarter of a teaspoon and leave it for like 10 minutes in the beef and then the beef cooks uh, very very quickly um, my beef was very good quality so um, I didn't but uh, I didn't put the um, baking soda in it um, and it still cooked really really quickly um, the best thing I like about it is that this recipe is full of flavor um, yet very easy to make um, so once the beef is um, slightly stir fried you can see the color changed as well once again I use some garlic uh, flakes um, because after work it just gets uh, too much for me to peel garlic and like you know then do the dishes afterwards um, you can put fresh garlic um, that would be perfectly fine. I put two tablespoons of soy sauce and one tablespoon of oyster sauce. Uh, this combination is my best. I've used it for quite a few things. Um, I've put a little bit of brown sugar. You can put normal sugar if you don't have brown sugar. But say like um, three quarters of the tablespoon and just half a t half a teaspoon um, of vinegar. Like all of this together gives it a very um, very nice flavor. Um, you can also add sesame seeds if you like uh, but I didn't um, I, because I mean I had garlic flakes in there so um, I didn't want to um, confuse myself with sesame seeds in there but sesame seeds go really good um, with this recipe as well so once again you just uh, stir fried um, just put a little bit of salt and a little bit of black pepper um, it, it just a little bit of salt um, really adds um, on to the flavor um, just stir fry it um, and I mean if you think if you if you find that your beef is not cooking um, you can put some water in it like half a glass um, not half a, like not even half a glass my glasses are quite small so maybe quarter of a glass in there and just just let it simmer for a little bit before you start putting this sauce in and the sauce kind of goes in quite at the end uh, because you don't want to um, like you do want to reduce the sauce but but I mean you don't want to leave the sauce in there for too long um, it just it just burns so usually um, pretty much when the beef is almost ready that's when you want to start putting uh, soy sauce and oyster sauce in there um, because otherwise um, it just burns and the flavors get um, too strong if you do like I mean if you want to convert this into a gravy you can put some flour like add some uh, flour in in the water and put some uh, put that water put that flour um, in in there in the in the beef and it just becomes a uh, stir fry but I was looking for a wrap um, last night pretty much um, because I wanted to take it for lunch in the morning so I had some um, wraps I usually put um, aluminium foil underneath and then just wrap the wrap on top of the aluminium foil it just makes it very easy to eat afterwards as well um, and the pre preparation of the wrap becomes um, quite um, easy as well so I've just got white um, uh, wraps here you could use um, wholemeal or like there's quite a few special ones these days um, um, they just I've put sour cream there the sour cream gives really good flavor um, I really like it um, so just spread the sour cream uh, the beef that you've just cooked um, just a little bit of lettuce um, not too much and I'll put Parmesan uh, cheese there 
you can put uh, mozzarella or whatever cheese you like I happen to have uh, that cheese and um, that's what I used and it tastes really good um, now I'm wrapping this wrap in a, a burrito style you can wrap it um, any other way or you could just simply wrap it in the you don't even have to do the ends of it you could just like you know wrap it very easily um, just in the aluminium foil I mean it is a bit of a struggle to wrap the wraps um, but like you know um, it's the aluminium foil makes it quite easy after that I've just got a sandwich press um, at home um, I love the, I love using this sandwich press it just makes things so much easier I just leave the wrap in there for like um, five six minutes um, or until you start smelling this beautiful bread um, fragrance um, that's when you know that the wrap is ready you could put some butter on the on the wrap and then like you know directly wrap it um, I'm just using the aluminium foil because it's easier to wrap um, um, that's I mean it's really that quick it only took me 20 minutes to cook um, to cook the beef and prepare the wraps um, I really enjoyed my dinner I hope you guys enjoy this recipe as well um, you can add things onto it like you can put tomatoes in there or you can put fresh onions you can put parsley coriander or whatever you like just don't make it too hard for yourself I hope you really enjoy this recipe have a lovely time you take care of yourself thank you for spending this time with me inshallah I'll see you again Allah Hafiz